Hi guys, my tech talks back in with another video, and today this is the part two of the iPhone SE unboxing and specs. Now for well, I've got an iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 Plus here, and I thought to myself, you know, might as well compare with speakers, same level, same volume, and everything like that. Also, by the way, I'm not joking. By the way, in my previous episode, please get the fast charging cable and the like power brick because these are so slow and I've got an upcoming video on the fast on like the difference in the speed of like the fast charger between this one and this one as they're literally pretty much the same battery so this one's going to be on the 5 watts and this one's going to be the 18 watts with the fast charging cable so subscribe and turn your notifications on for that that would be awesome 50% volume on the let's start on the iPhone 6s plus 50% okay bit tinny I'll let you guys listen, see what you guys think. Okay, swapping over to the iPhone 7. Sorry for the background noise. iPhone 8 Plus. It's a bit more vibrant now. It's a bit more bass, a bit more depth. This is the iPhone SE 2. You can see because it's got black screen silver side, so yeah. Okay, we're going to swap it over now. Yeah, so there's more, don't know if you guys can hear this, but I can, I'm going to give you my opinion. The um, There's more depth, it's a bit better, better highs, the treble's a bit better, everything's just more balanced, very well. It's, um, compared to an S10+, Plus, this is very flat, but it's got a very good sound signature, and it's very, very good. Okay, we're going to go full volume on the, from this side to this side, so I'm going to pause it now. That's 100% on the iPhone 6S Plus. iPhone 7. Oh, yeah. Might want to turn it up to 100%. That'd be a good idea. Yep, a bit brighter. Yeah, the iPhone... Let's swap it over in a sec to the iPhone 8 Plus. Yeah, the volume level is up a bit. It's much louder. But more bass from this side than up here because this speed is a bit empty. So let's swap it over. Okay, we're going to swap it up a bit. We've got them all on 50% again. Let's start from the iPhone 6S and work our way up. Okay, bit hollow, bit empty. Put your headphones on. Yeah, so basically there's a, it's about the same volume, but this has definitely got a bit more bass. It's a bit, travels a bit more as well. Okay, 
Okay, let's crank up to 100%. Now when you're, I'll turn this down just a tad, see now when you're, um, there's a bit more bass when you leave it a little bit off the end, like two notches. There's a little bit more bass if you put it down a tad. Volume is a bit more on this one, so these two have got a lot more volume, but this one's a bit more powerful than this one. Yeah, this one's just dead. It's decent, but these two here and this one, this one's really good. This is good, but the top earpiece on this one sounds a lot better than this iPhone 8 Plus. So the iPhone SE sounds better, even though it's smaller. Yeah, so there's the sound test, so let's move on. They're all 625, so now they're on 100% brightness. Let's inspect them a bit closer for the upgrade. Let's load Apple's website up on all of them, why not? Okay, so colour-wise... Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got this video in 4K, because then you can see clear as possible, basically. Um, iPhone 6S, colours, eh, decent. There's a little bit of um, greyness graininess to the actual picture image. iPhone 7 on the other hand is a bit better. If you look there, I know we're splitting here it has, but it's got a bit more detail there. And it's just a bit more a better accurate screen. And if you bring these two, which is really weird yeah, I'm not going to compare these because um, this is a third party 8 plus screen so you're not really, as you can see the colours are pretty terrible. Main thing is these ones. If you're coming from an iPhone 7 you're going to an iPhone 8 plus iPhone SE I mean you get true tone but you do lose 3d touch so as you can see there yeah a bit sharper actually okay let's move on yep so got them all on the home screen and yeah um, specs are a9 for the iPhone 6s plus then you've got the iPhone 7 here on the end which is the a10 fusion and then you've got the 8 Plus, which is here. Oh, need to it. 8 Plus, which isn't here, which has got the A11 Bionic chip. And then you've got the SE2. That is, comes with the A13 Bionic chip. Yeah, this video is going to take me quite a long time to do. But I'm going to do a battery drain test using this iPhone SE with a case on, from 100% to nothing, on Call of Duty Mobile. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm just going to use Call of Duty Mobile because um, I want to see how well the A13 can preserve the battery life of this phone. Now, I've heard that playing intensive games like Call of Duty and like PUBG and all that, it drains the battery quite a lot because of the A13. It's so powerful. Now, I'm going to be doing my own test. It's going to take me a while to put that out. So, hang on for that one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like the button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these future videos that I'm planning to do. And yeah, thanks for watching.